With the 2023 general elections just months away, a group has set an agenda for who will emerge as the next president of the nation. Will the citizens' welfare and healthcare tap in the list? This call was again reaffirmed by members of Team Better Niger in Benin City, the state capital, when they took their medical outreach to the citizens of the state. The team also drummed support for the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Tinubu. Well, um, one of the areas we are challenged as a people is um, the health challenge. We have a lot of challenge around the healthcare system. And one of the strong selling points of Bola Tinobu is uh, what he did in the health sector in Lagos. Uh, when he got there as uh, governor in Lagos, he was just an ambulance that was working. He revived uh, the healthcare system in Lagos. Um, the Lagos State University didn't have teaching on Twitter until Bola Tinobu got there. And today, everybody is proud of what we have in Lagos. So, um, it's uh, health sector is a sector that is very critical that we must look at. Um, we have decided to support our people, people with um, eye issues, uh, people with diabetics, uh, with high, high sugar level, with malaria. They will co conduct all sort of tests, people that we need to refer, and we have ensured that uh, we got the best of bed doctor from the University of Benin Teaching Hospital. So um, we are focused on this area because it's an area that is important, good health, good living. So we feel we should support our people and we are, we are hopeful that uh, when Ashwa Jubala Metunubu becomes the president by God's grace, uh, our health sector in Nigeria would improve. 30 is today, we have looked at the three leading candidates and as a group who has, who has the capacity to put in our own resources to support um, the, uh, the issue of medicals and uh, healthcare uh, imbalance in our society, we feel that there's a need to also attach it to a sort of kind of uh, affiliation so that going forward, people will know how to think outside the box, throw their weight behind who they feel is better, that can help improve healthcare programs. And at the same time, if they don't do the needful, we can always ret retract our support. Beneficiaries expressed gratitude for the gesture while assuring to cast their votes for the candidate who prioritized their well-being. The eye uh, challenge they have is a uh, reading little objects, but today, by the grace of God, it is done with this uh, our better Niger health care treatment. I have glaucoma and cataract. I have tried so many hospitals. They say the cataract has not matured, has not matured. So I'm waiting for it to mature. Uh, well, I'm grateful to the organizers, and when I heard it two days ago. I was very, very happy. Then I prepared for it. And getting here, I got to have it. Number one, number one, they treated me and they, they've given me a pair of glasses and asked me to wait for the specialist from UBTH. I know what I'm doing now. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.